Hi everybody, Stephanie Haney here, your digital anchor at Channel 3. I am with Ty Levine from Hi. NBC's New Amsterdam. Hi, how's it going everybody? Welcome, welcome to Cleveland. The Facebook universe. Yes, we are live on Facebook, we're live on WKYC.com, and we're live on YouTube. I'll be following along with your comments. If you have a question for Ty, pop them in the comments. We'll see if we yeah. can get him to answer here. Pop one in my chops. <laughs> give, me some, give me some pot chops, let's go. All right, so Ty, <clears throat> you play Dr. Iggy Fromm. I do. On NBC's New Amsterdam. Now that is a child psychiatrist who likes to think outside of the box. Yeah, I mean, so uh, funny you should mention that. I got into some hot water with the actual, uh, one of the heads of psychiatry at Bellevue Hospital in New York. And he oh. said, well, where are you, a psychologist or a psychiatrist? And I said, I'm, I'm whatever they tell me to be. And uh, <laughs> he said, well, it, I've spent 25 years of my career making sure that that differentiation between a psychiatrist and a psychologist is public knowledge, and it's it's a big difference, and you need to get them on that. And he suggested that we call me head of behavioral studies, and I brought that to our showrunner and our, our writers, and they were like, yeah, that's good. So that opens up okay. my story pool, you know? I don't have to just deal with kids and psychiatry, uh, which I wasn't anyway, because he is much more holistic than that, I think. But Okay. So, yeah. Head, so, of, head of behavioral studies. Head of behavioral studies. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what are some of the ways that your character kind of gets out of the box in that world then? He just opens up the lid and, and stands up usually. Uh, but then he sees the world outside of that box in a very, very uh, unique way, I think. And uh, it's sort of the, 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 the conceit of the show, I think, is that Max Goodwin, our new medical director, comes into the, our universe and kind of... Um, is meeting all these characters at their most frustrated. They're dealing with the most red tape and bureaucracy they've dealt with. Uh, that's kind of what their world consists of. And he comes in, he just cuts the cuffs off and says, do it your way. Patients come first no matter what. And I think in the beginning, that's a really exciting place to meet all these characters right after they've been let off the leash. So Iggy, who has already been a bit of a maverick and thinks outside of the box, has now been given permission to do so. And it, I, I think he, I just, took that ball and ran with it and really have uh, he has a really good time uh, actually pouring himself into his work and 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 is and can't help himself from being caring and compassionate and is probably in the right uh, medical area to do so okay yeah okay mental health is a big topic important to a lot of people yeah so that's a really great space to be diving in and having that, that I kind think of a it's also yeah the stigma of mental health is ever changing and evolving and, and I think it's really important that now, especially because we are talking about it, I think it, this is a great platform to sort of start viewing mental health as just health. It's the same thing as if you have an issue with your stomach or if you have you know, a, a degenerative heart disease. Like mental health is just part of your overall health. And it doesn't need to be stigmatized or turned into something that makes you broken because it's something that deals on an emotional level. Um, it is health. It falls under the umbrella of health, and I think we all need to start thinking about it that way. I love that. Yeah. I absolutely <clears throat> love that. Now, your character, Dr. Fromm, had a pretty big announcement in the season two premiere. Yeah. Tell us about that. Um, Iggy wants another baby. Iggy wants another baby. <laughs> wants a fifth baby, uh, which may seem excessive. Yes, sure. Um, but he has a lot of love to give, and he's got a lot of space to share. And uh, his husband is not so keen on the idea. So we're going to see how that unfolds. I will say this without spoiling too much. Iggy is barreling forward with this plan. So we'll see where that lands. Oh, yeah. that's very exciting. Yeah. be interested to see where that goes. Lori Fork says, welcome to Cleveland, by the way. Thank you. Good to be here. I, I will just say one other thing about the, the baby plan. Uh, season two is now sort of dealing with three months later, the sort of effects of how everyone has recovered from this very horrible loss. And, and uh, Max obviously is grieving hard and, and uh, we're all affected by it. And I think Iggy, this is his way of sort of maybe coping. I'd just like to say that, that, that that's sort of what's gonna color, I think a lot of the storylines this season is how everybody is coping and how that affects their work and how that in turn affects how they deal with their patients. Yeah. So definitely some heavy storylines as well. Yes. As we're going through season two yeah. of New Amsterdam. <clears throat> You're doing something really fun this season, though. Oh, am I? Are I we? Heard, I heard. Little Bird told me, which may have been you, <laughs> that you are curating uh, something special for the oh, fans. Oh, yes. What yeah, you guys. Um, I am very uh, heavily inspired by music in my life. I am a musician myself as well. And uh, 
I was asked by NBC Publicity to curate a Spotify playlist uh, for the show. I call it New Amster Jam. Yes. Um, and basically, I love it. I, it's, it just was everything came together in that one moment. And uh, so what I'm doing is every week I am adding one song to the playlist uh, that I am choosing that I think sort of accurately represents my emotional stasis after I've watched the episode. And uh, plus I want to share music with you. And at the end of 22 episodes this season, we will have a 22 track playlist. And then I will open it up to the public and make it collaborative. Uh, and then in the off season, we can all share music together, which thrills me to no end. I loved, I think it's one of the most personal things you can do, share music with people and with fans. So that's it, it's called New Amster Jam. Uh, it's on my Instagram page. Uh, the swipe up link is there in my stories and in my highlights. And uh, I also have a, a post on there telling you how to get there. But uh, yeah, just come check it out on Spotify. And because we're so tech savvy <coughs> here at Channel 3, I just dropped the link in the comments on the Facebook page. It's that easy. So you can go right there on Spotify to uh, follow and collaborate on the new Amsterdam playlist. New Amsterdam. Season 2 premiered last week. It's on tonight, Tuesday, 10 p.m., NBC. Tell us where people can follow you on social media so they can follow you along for the season. Yeah, I'm at... T. Labine on Instagram and on Twitter I'm at Ty Labine uh, and that's T-L-A-B-I-N-E or T-Y-L-A-B-I-N-E. Um, yeah, I'm really active on there and I, I really engage with fans and I like to, I, I, I like talking about everything openly, criticisms, whatever you got, I'm there. Well, we're obviously big fans of the show here in Cleveland. Sheila Jones says she loves the show. Jamie Pierce loves Karina the show. Karina Adele Roy. Yep. I love the show. Joe. B-Sock? B-Sock, nice. I played a character named Sock on a show called Reaper, and I feel like uh, that, your name and I, we have a little kinship there. There um, you go. Yeah. Bringing, it, bringing it in to the yeah. Cleveland fan. Yeah. We have somebody in Australia watching us. Right on. Waiting for the show. Yeah. we got to get it out there. Uh, we do, we do. I know there's a lot of people in the UK that are waiting for the rest of season one still, uh, and I know that there's a lot of people in, like, some of the... Uh, Norse countries, Denmark, Norway, that are all dying to see season two. So it'll get there. It'll get there. It just takes time. All right. Well, here in the U.S., you can watch it tonight at 10 p.m. on, on NBC. Ty, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, if you're pleasure. just joining us for the first time, make sure you like our Channel 3 Facebook page. That's at facebook.com slash wkyc.channel3. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel, WKYC Channel 3, so you don't miss any fun moments like this with our friend Ty.